Hey everyone, welcome to another team training. Today we have special guest Krista Skippers with us. Hi, Krista. Hi. You guys, Krista is not even on our team, but she has generously offered to train us um, because she, uh, I met her at Punta Cana leadership retreat and, um, and no, it's not the leadership retreat. It was just a trip we earned. <laughs> right. And, um, yeah. she, she and I were just chatting in the pool, uh, with our mutual friend, Katie Olson. And Katie was like, Kelly, you need to have Krista train us all about boosting your VIP group. She has an, a mind blowing VIP group. And, um, I was like, Ooh, tell me more because <laughs> right now I think we all feel like Facebook is against us <laughs> and that none of our VIPs are seeing our posts and everything. So I'm super stoked to hear from you, Krista. I've got my pen and paper ready to take notes. Um, <laughs> so we can't wait to hear from you. Uh, so before you jump in though, Krista, will you kind of share your color street journey? I sure will. I sure will. My, like, like Kelly said, my name is Krista Skippers. I am from Michigan and I will tell you, I actually did my hair for y'all today. I did. I, I spent like 25 minutes curling it, making it look nice. And I walked outside and it is so humid here. It went whoosh. I was going to recurl it and I thought, nope, I'm just going to do this. It's just going to be good. It's going to be yeah. real raw. We're just going to go for it. But I started Color Street back in 2019. So it was pre-COVID and um, from a sample, just like all of you guys, I left that sample in my purse. I thought it was the other brand and I didn't want to try it. And then I did and I was blown away and um, started telling all of my friends and it's kind of gone from there. My husband told me I needed to find something to do between the hours of nine and two when my kids are in school. And you can't find a job between nine and two. Like there's nothing to do. Um, he goes, yeah. find something to do, go talk to people so that you don't become that homebody that is weird. And if you make money at it, great. So I started this just to have fun and it still is fun. And that's what's, you got to continue to remember it's fun. And that's where the money will come in is as long as you are showing you're having fun and having genuine fun, the money will come in. So oh, same thing. Power of the samples right there, right? Yeah, power of the samples. As long as you try them. And that's why we also have to follow up. Because if you don't follow up, we're going to be in that purse like mine. Yes, amen, amen. So tell us, Krista, how in the world can we boost our VIP groups to make them, make them more seen, make them more valuable and effective? Well, it takes a little bit of time, but um, we take baby steps, okay? And algorithm needs to be on our side. Now I've done this multiple times where I've let my VIP go group go way down in posts and then, and reactions. And then I've brought it back up quite a few times um, before I was able to talk to people and say, okay, this is how we're going to boost algorithms. Um, the biggest thing is you need to feed your VIP group like a child three times a day. We need to feed it. It doesn't need to be all color street. Mine is not. Mine is strictly, I will tell you, I sprinkle my color street in there, but it's about food. I'm a huge foodie. I love to eat. I love to share recipes. Amen. So that is what my VIP is. And it's, it's silly questions. Like, I mean, we've got a lot of these in the graphics groups. Um, the one that I just did the other day was, do you wear your hair in a bun or a ponytail? Do you know how many people want to give you your their opinion? Tons of people. They Everyone. like to give opinions. Yes. The, the thing that we need to remember, though, is when we post, don't just post the graphic. You got to post a question, even if you don't care if they like a bun or a ponytail. I, I like because the, the graphic actually had a heart or a smiley face or a thumbs up. I don't like that because it doesn't help boost the algorithm. So I stated right in the, the, the message, which do you like, ponytail or bun? But you must message below what you like. And people comment. I had, you know, 12 comments. Then you go back at night and you comment back to every single person. It may seem, oh my goodness, that's a lot, but not really. Um, 
you can work your color street business in little bits of time here and there. So when you're waiting for your kids to pick them up after when you're watching television, you can quick comment back, ask another question. So if someone says ponytail, now you can ask, do you like it high or low? Again, it doesn't matter if you don't care or you care. You're trying to get to know your people by creating relationships. So that way, like, let's say there was a lady that said, I love my hair in a messy mom bun, but I can never get it to look right. Well, I just saw a TikTok video about this thing that this woman used and I found one. So guess what? I messaged her that and said, hey, you should try this. I just got into her DMs and I've created a relationship about mom buns. Guys, creating relationships and yes. getting to know your VIP group is huge. So by posting in the morning, it's like something to, to start them off, like a joke or a this or that. You could even do a this or that in the mornings. Noontime, you can do different things. You can, that's when I usually talk about Color Street is my noon post. Not everybody sees it, but they see it in the evening. And then my night posts are sales or um, about my my hair, the, the bun thing or food. We talk about food a lot. Like what's for dinner? That's a big one. Post a picture of your food. So boosting algorithm, you have to, by commenting three times a day, you will get 90 posts in a month. So my, it's huge. It's huge. So there's a way to see what your algorithm is. And I'm going to kind of walk you through it. Don't get scared. Okay. It's going to be on, probably one second. Bad. One second. I have a question okay. before you jump yeah. in. You said, cause I want, I don't want anyone to miss this. You said having them comment with an emoji doesn't boost the algorithm. Is that, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So everyone make note of that. Having them comment with an emoji does not have them comment with words, right? Words. And when you respond, giving them a like or a thumbs up doesn't do anything. It, I mean, yeah, it looks great because you commented, but it doesn't. You need to comment back with words. Call, um, Facebook needs to see that you are being a social person. That's the whole thing mm -hmm. about Facebook, being social. If you're just doing little thumbs up, they're going to go, well, that person isn't really being social. So we're going to push them away and we're going to give it to somebody who is talking to people because they want you to talk to everybody. So yes, emojis are just no good. What about gifts? I, I often say comment with a gif of whatever. Yep. Sounds that works good. because again, you're talking, okay. you're talking to them. I don't know what it is with emojis. They just don't like it. Um, okay. So I don't use a lot of emojis at all. Okay. When I comment, yeah, you can say, oh, I look like send me a picture of your dinner. That looks really good with a happy face. But again, I put words with it. So words is what's going to help that algorithm be boosted. All right. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to show you guys how to look at your algorithm. Give yourself a starting point. And that's what's really nice is if you screenshot that now, then wait a month and screenshot it again by doing these things. And you're going to go, wow. I'm in the pluses. I'm in, I've got all of these comments. So you want to make sure that you do a before and after it gives you that boost of confidence. Yes. So when you're on a phone, I do it only mostly on my phone, but if you're on your phone, whether it's, um, I believe iPhone has it too. You have the little shield when you're in your VIP group, you go to your shield, okay. you click on it and you click on insights. You might have to scroll down a little bit, but you click on insights and then you click on engagement. Once you're there, you're going to see how many members are actually active in your VIP group. Now, if you have a hundred people, yep. there's the insights right there. Oh, okay. I thought you were showing me. <laughs> no, I'm um, just trying to show everyone what it looks like. So once you click on that, you're going to see how many people are actually engaged in your group. So if you have a hundred people in your group and only two people are engaged, we got to boost that. We got to get other people to see it. And then if you scroll down, you will also see posts, comments, reactions. Now okay. I'm going to go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. I will say Facebook likes 5,000 comments. Um, now that can be a very like <gasps> number, but again, baby steps, we're going to work from the bottom and we're going to go to the top. So you also want those in the plus, not the negative. So you want that in the positive format and you're going to work up to 5,000. If you're like, I don't even know how I'm going to get a hundred. 
guys, there's ways you can do that um, comment color until I comment or until I comment street and the next person is a winner of twosies. So there's ways to get people to comment a lot and boost that. Um, and with your day-to-day -day posts, you can also post winners. Um, and we can use gifts that we have in our kit and that's two finger testers. You can call them the mixed Manny kit. I will send you a mixed Manny kit with whomever is the winner of this post. And that's just two accents, super easy. And everybody has them. Um, within my VIP group, I have three days of winners. And you can do this, you don't have to do this, but I find that those three days are, I get more reactions. Um, I do winner, winner Wednesday it's a regular post. Like here's one. Um, how do you like your brownies? Do you like them on the edge or in the middle? People are going to comment and someone's going to be a winner. So somebody is going to be my winner for this week. I post all my winners on Wednesday. So Thursdays I do ladies night in. Amanda Yoakum has done a training on this of ladies night in, girls night in. Um, there's tons of these in the graphics groups. You don't even have to make them. Um, so you start getting them excited about game night all they have to do is comment and they could win um now you can do two finger testers you could give away a free set if that's what's okay with your business what i do is i actually make them buy something to receive something so with my ladies night in winners i have a buy two get two for free or a buy two get two half off it equals to be only one free set out of my stash, but I'm getting two orders. You do that each week and get two orders, you'll bonus qualify. So, okay, so I'm trying to visualize what you're saying. So um, is this in the caption of the post or is this what you message to the winners? Well, this is, everybody knows. So my graphic for my winner will show ladies night in winners. It will be Kelly France. A uh, buy two, get two. Uh, Krista Skippers, a buy two, get two, half off. Or get, yes, buy two, get two, half off. And they know they only have until X date in order to use it. So my winner post goes out on a Wednesday. They only have until Friday to use this deal. That's it. Nice. Because what always comes out on Mondays and Tuesdays? Brand oh, new launches. So I always get them to buy off of the website before a new launch comes in. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. And it's not a big deal. They don't have to use yeah. it. So my graphic will show what they will receive. But again, you don't have to do that. You can give away two, yeah. uh, two finger testers. Can I tell you what I do for my winners that yeah. helps me get hostesses? Yeah. <laughs> um, I will message them, or you could probably put it in the post like you do. Um, and I say, congratulations, you won you get like one free nail set, or if you choose to host a party, you'll get two. And, or you could do like one accent pack, or if you choose to host a party, you'll get one full free Manny. So that's, that's another approach to get hostesses. That's amazing. Absolutely. Especially during these next few months of summer, when people aren't really ready or maybe not wanting to, you can entice them with that free set. That's a really good yeah. idea. I'm going to do that. Yeah. So, um, where was I? Oh, and then I also have, I do eye candy Friday. Everyone likes to look at men, right? And if you're not into men, you can pick women. That's fine too. But I do eye candy Friday. And so they have to pick which one will they like, like Channing Tatum or I don't know, Vin Diesel. I don't know. Um, but my girls, like it. It. they really, really like it. So Wait, what does that look like? Like, what, what do you, you post, do you just post a picture of two different guys and say this or that, or what, what does that look like? You totally can. I mean, with people who don't know how to make graphics or don't want to make graphics, you can post two pictures from the internet. That's where I get my pictures. And you can say, which one would you choose? Um, Channing Tatum or uh, Vin Diesel. And, but I actually have created a, a graph and it just says, I candy Friday, two photos, their names, they know how to do it. When you start doing different things in your VIP group, it's going to take a couple times for them to catch on. And they're going to go, oh, that's what I have to do. Oh, it's Eye Candy Friday. I got to get on Krista's site because I want to see which hotties are on there today. 
So you don't even have to do guys. I did like eyes or mouth, abs or arms. So again, I'm just getting like them that. to comment. Again, you got to make yeah. it fun. You all have five pillars. Pick your five pillars. Start talking about them. Get them excited to come to the group. Leave out all that garbage that we see everywhere else and make your group fun by just talking about yourself and the things that you love. Totally. I love that. I mean, you've got to, I think you've got to make it personal because I think what is most effective is people are going to buy from people that they like, know, and trust and that they have like that relationship with. So if, if your customers are getting like personal messages from you, showing them how to create a top knot or things like that, then they're going to feel more connected to you and be more likely to support your business and, and buy from you. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, they can buy nails from anybody, guys. Anybody. Anyone. So they pick That's you. Have to remember. Exactly. They're yeah. going to go, hey, that girl sent me a message on that new top knot tutorial. I want to use her because she's cool because she knows who I am. Mm-hmm. You, you're going to create relationships even when you don't think you are just by sending a really nice message to somebody. So, um, and posting about your personal life, you know? Yes, absolutely. Today we went to the zoo. Um, my daughter dressed up as Cinderella. I mean, you post a picture of that. You can say, did anyone else go to the zoo? Cause you have customers in your area. And if you don't have customers in your area, they're going to check out their local zoo and see when princess day is at their local zoo. So again, mm-hmm. you're creating uh, oh, she does things with her kids. So do I, I want to, I want to know what she's doing. I want to make sure I get in her group. Um, so what I want you guys to do is take a screenshot of what Cal and I can send you um, instructions on how to do it too. And you can post it later, Kelly. Um, mm-hmm. But on how to, to take a screenshot, take a screenshot guys, make sure you know what your numbers are before. And by posting three times a day, by commenting on those people again it's going to be slow at first and eventually it's going to get bigger um you're going to create that algorithm to get up there's there's other ways you can do um you can do awake the group that's in a lot of the the graphics groups where the abc game like what's the last thing you bought on amazon again these are all questions people want to comment on but um, yes by tagging your people go ahead I, I think it is so important to, to check out the um, insights of, you know, your group or even like on Instagram or whatever, because you can notice patterns, you know, tracking reveals truth. You can start noticing patterns of what people like. It even tells you what are your top days? What, what days, you know, are people most interactive? What times of day? And it tells you what are your top posts? Like looking at those patterns. Okay. This is my top post. So I need to do more like that. You know what I mean? Biggest thing too. I really, really truly believe you guys got to show your face. You guys got to go live. You guys got to go live. Facebook loves videos. They love reels. They love videos. They love stories. Um, And if you're terrified to go live, that's fine. So was I in the beginning, believe it or not, I did not want to do that. I videoed myself for so many times and then I would critique myself. Don't do that. You guys are beautiful. So just get on and do your nails. Put the phone down and just talk. Talk about your day. Talk about what you had for dinner and do your nails. And you'll get up the confidence to talk to them. And an easy way to go live every day, if you're going to do Ladies Night In to help boost that algorithm, go live about an hour before and say, hey, ladies, guess what? Today's Thursday. Don't forget we have Ladies Night In. Uh, at 8.30, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be about food, this or that, or it's going to be about the 50s. Make sure you're on, make sure you play. And don't forget, we're going to have winners. Have a great day. See how quick and easy it was, but they got to see your face. Yeah. They want to know and see and hear who they're buying from. So you got to mm-hmm. go live. Totally. I actually asked in my group, which is, this is another thing you can do is say, what do you want to see more of? So I asked them like, what do you want to see more of in this group? Um, and, and most of the, a lot of them said, we want to see more lives from you. We want to see more appli- like live applications. And I was like, oh crap, <laughs> but 
Um, just, it's just cause you know, they take time and you feel like you have to have your hair done and all that. But, um, one thing I, I, ha I try to remind myself is it can be a 60 second live. Like it doesn't have to be this like hour long thing, you know? And you don't have to go like, there's also a way you can do it where you can just video yourself or create a separate group just for yourself. I have an actual group just for myself. It's a public group. I do too. And I post things in there. So when you, when you're doing your nails, if you're like, oh, my hair, I'm just going to do my nails and I'm just going to show them my nails, pop it in that group. And then you can post it and it will look like you're live. Boom. Done. So you don't have to worry about Wait, it. You lost me there. Well, you if lost you, me there. If you go live in your group, if, if it's a public group, like you have your public group and you do your nails. So I'm going to face my camera down, do my nails, chat a little bit, very quick, very easy. Then you can actually share that into your group and it'll look okay. like you're live. Right, right. So share it while you're um mm -hmm. if you're scared. like on your wall. Yeah. Yeah. If you're scared, because there's a lot of girls like on my team, a lot of girls are scared. So I'm like, create a group, go live in there, talk to yourself. And then you can post it when you're ready. Um, and it kind of gets it boosts their confidence just a little bit because they rewatch it and they're like, oh, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't too mm -hmm. bad because they're scared. I think when comments start rolling and they're like, oh my gosh, somebody's actually watching me. No. Well then just go live in there. Nobody's going to comment. You can just relax, be yourself, and then you can post it in when you're ready. Yeah. Or you can, um, even just record yourself and then upload the video, like start with baby steps. And then, Absolutely. you know, or another tip is like, when you go live, if you don't want to talk, sometimes I'm like, I am exhausted. I don't want to talk. I don't know what to say. So I'll go live and I'll just have like quiet music in the background and do my nails. And people are like, oh, this is so relaxing. So there's another idea. Absolutely. Absolutely. But to see your face, then they're like, oh, Kelly's on. That's awesome. I want to watch her. So, and Kelly, you do a lot of stories. You do a lot of reels. So again, baby steps, once you get confident, um, reels are huge. My husband doesn't have TikTok, but he watches reels. He's like, hey, did you check this one out? I said, that's on TikTok. You should just get TikTok. It's on TikTok. He goes, I don't know how to do that, but I like reels. So everybody's watching yeah. reels, quick, short videos. Yep. I know it's crazy. Um, so even this morning I uploaded a reel, you can like hit like four birds with one stone. I uploaded a reel on Instagram then I downloaded it to my phone, uploaded it to Facebook reels. Then I shared it in my stories on Facebook. I shared it in like four, like three groups on Facebook and from on one. my personal wall from one reel. So, um, it's just a good, it like, it's a good way to like hit lots of different people and it's video. So, and the Absolutely. crazy thing is Facebook is really rewarding people and you can get, I started with like 5,000 followers on Facebook and now I have 12,000 and I'm like, I have no idea how that happened, but I, I know it's <laughs> because I started doing reels. Yes. <laughs> so, it, um, reels are powerful. Absolutely. But again, baby steps, start with going mm -hmm. live, then you can start working on doing all of those, but I, reels are huge and everybody loves them right now. Yeah. And Krista, one thing that I want to suggest to everyone is if you're like overwhelmed, cause you're like, oh my gosh, three posts a day in my VIP group. Like that's a lot. So I just got on the phone yesterday with one of my new stylists and I was like, let me show you the wonderful world of Scent Share. And, um, you can literally go in, they actually have a content library full of memes and quotes and interactive posts. And you can literally go in there and schedule them all to your group. You can schedule your Facebook wall posts. You can literally schedule everything and then go to the beach or go on vacation and live your summer, your best summer life. Um, so since share is amazing, you can create templates. I have a template for my parties. You can share those templates with your teammates, your new stylist. It's like, like when I showed it to my new son, she was like, um, this is blowing my mind. My life just got hundred percent easier. <laughs> Absolutely. The best $10 I spend a month. It's the best assistant I can For ever sure. have. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a super helpful resource. Okay. Well, any, any final tips you have for us, Krista, to boost that group? The biggest thing is consistency guys. If, if you're going to do a ladies night in every Thursday, remember to schedule that. And you can do it in Scentshare because people are going to remember and they're going to come back. And if you don't do it, 
if you're inconsistent, they're going to go, oh, well, she's not going to do it every week and never mind. And then they forget to come back. So if you're going to mm-hmm. do something, stick with it. If you're going to do all 7.30 a.m. posts, do it because they're going to come back and see it. So you have to be consistent in all that you do within your business. You will get it. I know you will. Um, and if you have questions, I mean, you ask Kelly, Kelly can ask me as well. And I, I have complete faith in all of you guys. Yeah. And I want to, uh, I just thought of another like tip that kind of helps you if you're like, I don't know what to post. I do think it really helps to choose days of the week where you're like, okay, it's Manny Monday. It's tip Tuesday, or like winter Wednesday, or I can eat Friday or, you know, food Friday, like kind of picking those themes. So you're like, oh, okay. Today is like thought Thursday. So I'm going to quote, share a quote, just things like that, that make it easier on in your brain. You don't even have to tell people that name, but it helps you have like ideas because it's easy to run out and be like, I got nothing. <laughs> Yep. Yep. And I mean, again, self-care Sunday, reminding people to relax on Sunday. And I always post a self-care Sunday. What are you doing right now? Post a picture. Everybody comments because they want to show you what they're doing. And most people are sitting on their couch. Good for them. So again, I like that. Manny Monday, self-care Sunday. I candy Friday. Yes. Love it. Love it. Okay. So everyone, your challenge is to go screenshot your insights. Um, we're, I'll have a post in team nail that, that where you can share your insights. And then in a month, try to get those insights up and try, I know this is hard, but I'm really going to try to get those 5,000 comments. I did the math. If we're doing 90, so if we're doing three posts a day for 30 days, that's 90 posts. If you, um, get, so for every post, you should get 55 comments. If you want to hit 5,000. I know that's a lot, but like, it's something to work towards. So, um, anyway, Krista, this was amazing. Thank you so much for your help. You're the best. And thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.